right, so this is the tie for my first Holy Communion, so I'm, oh. like, <laughs> I'm as cheap as Tracy here. <laughs> so, colleagues, uh, good afternoon. My name's Neil Derrick. I'm the Regional Secretary of the GMB, and I'm really proud that my union is involved in this uh, event and also in the week of activities to fight racism and uh, anti-fascism and to promote um, dignity and respect in the workplace. If I'd been at the school uh, assembly this morning, I would have started by explaining to the school kids what GMB members do. And it was just Tracy mentioning that the parks I've kept so lovely. That reminded me of the fact that it's probably GMB members who cut the grass and keep the parks clean and tidy. It's GMB members who keep the street lights on, that keep us safe when we're walking home at night, who are there to uh, put us to bed in care homes and to look after us when we're in hospital, teaching assistants in, in schools, um, bell ringers, <laughs> on cue. Uh, very powerful position mine, I can call on the bells whenever I want. Um, the, the point being that as a union, our members don't only serve uh, don't only uh, serve the community in everything that they do and the jobs that they perform, but they are the community. And that is, of course, why trade unions have always believed that we are stronger together than we are as individuals. There are no hostile environments in the trade union world. We have always believed in dignity and respect. Because if you learn to respect someone, it's very hard to discriminate against them. And we don't just preach tolerance, we practice celebration of other cultures. Because often, um, by simply tolerating the other or someone who's different, we don't quite take that step that is necessary in order to understand what their culture is and therefore to respect and to grow to love their culture. Because we're all different. We're all different inside. The union um, in this past week has produced that I think is a marvellous Mental Health Matters campaign um, launch about neurodiversity and uh, mental health issues. You know, inside here, we're all different from each other. Even if we look the same, we are different. And that is just by extension how we have to survive as a group of, um, of humans in society, by recognising that although we're different, difference is good and we need to celebrate that. Um, and I think that's, that's vitally important. So from a trade union point of view, um, I just wanted to say well done to uh, the GMB in this particular area, in Batley and Spain, because people like Kath and our Brighouse uh, branch and our people based in Clackheaton and in this area, um, working with more in common with our MPs, Tracy, a great friend of the GMB, We've always taken the view that we can achieve much more if we work together. There is much more that unites us than divides us. And you know, my colleagues, Caroline and a few others, in handing out leaflets this morning, this very morning, um, were reminded how ever-present um, aggressive racism can be, even on the streets of battle. You know, this is not some paper exercise. This is not something that's consigned to the history books or that happens in that there London, you know, where there are um, bigger issues. This happens on our streets, it happens in our workplaces, in Yorkshire, and as it does right across the world. And that's why events like this are so important, so important that we take time just to reflect and just to think and just to remind ourselves that if we're not champions of equality, as trade unionists, if we don't champion diversity, if we don't respect other people, if we don't treat ourselves and others who may be different with dignity, then very few other people will. So it's, it's a job that we all need to rise to and I'm really proud that you have done and I'm proud of my union for doing this one. So thanks very much. Indeed.